Hey, what's going on guys? Chris here from Mixdown Online, and today I want to show you how to use a virtual keyboard in Cubase 9.5. So as you can see, I'm on the road at the moment. I'm driving back from Nashville, where I attended Summer Nam, which was pretty cool. And now I am in my car. I'm not driving, okay? So don't worry, I am not filming and driving, okay? My wife is driving. Um, now I have my computer right in front of me, as you can see. And I'm in Cubase, I'm trying to just um, write down some music ideas. And I'm using my computer keyboard as a MIDI controller to trigger my MIDI notes, okay? Which is quite practical. And this is something you can do within Cubase, which allows you to write your music without the use of any MIDI controller. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, um, using a MIDI controller is way more practical, but this at least gives you an option to lay down some ideas if you need to, okay? So in my case, um, it is very, very useful. So let's go into Cubase and let me show you how I do this. Okay, so now in Cubase, what you need to do to access the virtual keyboard is to click on Option K on Mac or on Alt K on Windows. And this is what you're gonna get, the on-screen keyboard. This is how it's called. And first we have the keyboard layout, okay, which gives us which keys on your keyboard um, you'll be able to use to trigger the MIDI notes, okay? So it starts with the letter Q, W, E, R, T, okay, you get the idea. Now I have a piano sound and now I'm at the first octave, okay? So if I click, I write down here, there's some, there's some lines here and I can select different octaves, as you can hear. Okay, so very practical. This is how you can change octaves. Now you only have access to one octave using this layout. If I go to the far right, okay, to the bottom right here, I can just click and I have the piano layout, which gives me two octaves. So if I click on Q, the same layout as I had before, Okay, I'm gonna get these notes. And if I wanna have the equivalent but an octave lower, I start with the letter Z. Okay, so Z, X, C, V, B, N, M. So that gives me my main notes. And as far as the black notes, um, as we can see, if I go back to my, uh, my keyboard layout, I have uh, the number two, three, five, six, seven, okay? And on the first octave, if I use my piano layout, I am gonna use S, D, G, H, J, okay? So very, very straightforward. And this is how you can access two octaves uh, without having to change uh, every time, okay? So by using the piano layout. Very simple, now once you're on the piano layout, on the left side, you have access to the modulation wheel, okay, and the pitch bend wheel as well. And we have on the right, the velocity. So if I wanna increase the velocity, this is where I'm gonna increase it. Or if I just wanna bring it lower, this is where it's all done. And you can also access the velocity on the keyboard layout as well. But don't forget that the keyboard layout will only give you one octave at a time. And to change octave, you'll need to just click on these lines at the bottom to switch octaves. Now, I'm just gonna go back to my piano layout. And again, if I wanna bring my both octaves higher, I'm just gonna click on the lines here. And there you go. This way, I can access two higher octaves. Now, once you have the on-screen keyboard active, okay, and you wanna access shortcuts like the click, for example, you're gonna have to uh, deactivate the on-screen keyboard, okay, by clicking the same option as uh, you did to activate it, so Option K or Alt K, and then you'll be able to bring on and off your click track if that is what you wanna do. All right, so let's just record a few notes just to test if everything works well. And there you go, it all works perfectly. 
So there you go guys, that was a quick one. So this is how you can use a virtual keyboard in Cubase 9.5. All right, so if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. And don't forget to share, to like, and to subscribe to this channel if you are new here. All right, talk to you soon guys.